That was a close one. Oh, man. Phew. Hey, this must be the Wood Dwarf's home. This had better be worth all the trouble. It looks so comfortable on the beach. Hmm. But I think it would like to come along with me for a while. Man, it was stuck on there really tightly. with the window. Take a hike. <laughs> I think I just heard somebody. That sounded like a cry for help. Calling for help? Never. I told you to skedaddle. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm sure someone needs my help in there. I have to get in there somehow. Locked and bolted. I think somebody just coughed in there. Bah. And said, bah. Shove off. I'm sick. That sounded like a cry for help. I have to get in there somehow. So many trees. I wonder how many animals live out there and how many of them like to drink blue juice. Anyone taller than a mouse, or taller than me for that matter, probably wouldn't even notice this, but there it is, hidden among tree roots and moss. Anyone taller than a mouse, or taller... Securely locked. It's so sticky. I'd better be careful where I put it. Huh. <laughs> the snail did a good job sealing the envelope. Whoa! The stamp made a zillion copies of the invitation. They hardly fit in my backpack now. They planted root fields in between all the trees. And they stretch out far into the forest. Planting and harvesting all those roots must be an awful lot of work. the biggest beat I have ever seen. It smells very sweet, but I definitely can't lug that thing around. Good idea. I'll try to cut a hole in the glass. I'd say that worked pretty well. Now what? I need to watch out or the window will break. Hmm. How can I remove the glass in one piece? I must do this very carefully, just like the pros in the movies. Movies? Is that your name? Beat it, burglar! A professional job. Bye, Shimmering Snail. I think I'd better let it go on its way now. <laughs> there! Another cry for help! I need to find out what's going on here. Hello? Hello, my 
pudgy hat. <laughs> it's you and I'll delinquent. What? I thought you were calling for help. Ah, help? A wood dwarf never asks for help. I... <laughs> you... <laughs> there, again. <laughs> Do you see those hatches? I'm about to come over there and lock you up in one of our tunnels. <laughs> and there you can... There you can... can... Admire the tunnels? <laughs> Again, you just called for help again. Called for help? A sneeze, that's all. I've come down with a dwarf cold. Must have caught it somewhere in the hiking tunnel when I went to see my parents. <laughs> <laughs> all right. About my dwarf cold, my housemates have already headed for the hills. <laughs> That's what I would have done in their place. A dwarf cold's nothing to sneeze at. Are you sure I can't help you somehow? Yes, I'm sure. Nobody can help me. Although, except for one person, perhaps, she could help me. If she wanted to, but bah, a wood dwarf never asks for help. On this bed it says, soft steel. Logger, this bed is also empty. I'll take that. There, at last. I won't need the key anymore. I'll just leave it in the lock. Could you deliver this for me? I would love to do that. But now my bike's got stuck here and there's nothing I can do about it. That means I can't deliver the mail. I've never been this late on my round. Is sick. Oh, fudge. Don't worry. Old Uli taught me a lot about dwarf illnesses. Off to the wood dwarves. <laughs> Blistering blue Battenberg. This is a very bad case of dwarf cold. That's what I said. Really, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Old Uli taught me a remedy for this. Jerry, will you help me find a few ingredients for this poor dwarf? Um, of course. Oh, thank you. Here, take this recipe. <laughs> Gesundheit. Gesundheit. <laughs> I'll be in the cafe getting everything ready. The recipe is a list of things we need to get the poor guy back out to the root fields. And then at last we'll get some blue juice again. Steinberg, we'll have you back on your feet in no time. And now I need to hurry back. I've got a delicious buttercup pie in the oven.
to heal the dwarf and your needs. A yellow marsh marigold bud, a fish scale, and some pepper. Just a sec. How can I help you? About the dwarf medicine. You found all the ingredients. <sighs> Let's hope that old Uli's recipe is good for something. Oh, there's some pepper left over. Here. Uli's medicine has to be stirred into something liquid and then administered to the patient. And then there will be blue juice once again. And we're going to need lots of blue juice for the early treetop festival. See you later. Take care. Mm, that smells good. There, I stirred in the medicine. I wonder if it tastes good like that. smell something else too of course it also contains dwarf cold medicine oh <laughs> well why don't you just take the mug bah. with a dwarf cold it is impossible to move if you weren't so clueless you would know that a wood dwarf is not an easy patient my arms are so heavy my legs are so heavy. <laughs> Even my lips are heavy. Blue juice smells delicious. But this I can smell. Of course. Oh. <laughs> well, why don't you just take with a dwarf if you a wood dwarf is not my arm, my leg. <laughs> Even my lips are heavy. There, yeah, that's the way I always take my cough syrup. Did you bring Anya's medicine from a dwarf cold? <laughs> uh. Bah. First you say you want to help, and now you just step. Here's some blue juice medicine to help with your bad dwarf cold. Say ah. Uh... Our blue juice, the original. Ah. Ah, delicious. Some colors already returning to your cheeks. And tomorrow we will see to the harvest. You should stay in bed. In bed, stay in bed, sleep at last. No sore throat, no dwarf cold, and no dwarf cough. Exactly. Anya, you must go to Anya. <sighs> That's quite far away, you know. Take Tunnel 47. Tunnel 47? This one. What? Why didn't you tell me that before? Dwarf secret. You must go to Anya. Tell her thanks. Starting tomorrow, there will be... Starting tomorrow, 
there will be blue juice once again. I did it! The dwarves are going to produce blue juice again and Anya can go ahead and prepare for the treetop festival. Now all I have to do is send out the invitations. You must be kidding! A shortcut? Couldn't somebody have told me that sooner? medicine is bound to work. Customers have been asking for days when there'll be blue juice again. And we're going to need lots of blue juice for the early tree talk festival. See you later. Take care. Okay guys, I think we'll leave it there for today. Don't worry, I'll be back again soon. My subscribe button gets a bit sad, so please consider giving it a bit of a tickle and cheer it up. If you'd like to follow me on social media, my links are in the description below. Thanks again for watching, guys. Be kind to yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye-bye, everybody. Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens and your galoshes, and don't forget to write. Bye now.